Good day. Keith McKinnon here once again, uh, past curator of a 20,000 piece Masonic collection uh, for about 30 years. But today I bring forth a piece that, uh, as a past curator, I believe that those who do collect, uh, and brother just period, that really do not appreciate this manufacturer's pieces. Um, with this piece here, not only do you have the face historical value of it, but you also have the company or the manufacturer's uh, historical or a really good story uh, to go along with it. Sometimes with a Masonic piece, you're going to have some documentation or some sort of a historical uh, background of the manufacturer or a really good story. Uh, and this has a couple. First of all, it is a piece, it is a 50 year anniversary Masonic plate. Uh, for Henry Price Lodge, which was then in Charlestown, Massachusetts, and its date would be uh, 1908. It is made by the Thomas Maddock and Sons, or Thomas Maddock Sons, of Trenton, New Jersey. Now, Thomas Maddock himself was born in 1818 in England. He took up uh, the pottery trade, uh, working with porcelain, uh, with dinnerware and also with commodes or water closets uh, in England. And around 1847 he uh, immigrated to the United States and he took with him his experience and also a new technique that was being used in England at the time but not here in America and that was a certain firing process they used on porcelain to make it much more durable and so he took that process with him and he went into business with a friend of his called William Lehigh, around 1848, uh, and began to make dinnerware. But Thomas Maddock still kept the side uh, workings with uh, commodes and water closets. Um, they were very successful with dinnerware, so successful that they produced many beautiful pieces using this new process. Again, not something that was used here in America. So they had something unique. So beautiful were some of their pieces that actually they made a set for President Franklin Pierce. Around 1873, Thomas Maddock moved to Trenton, New Jersey. And Trenton, New Jersey at the time was the pottery or porcelain capital of the United States. He went into business with two other gentlemen this time more so on the water closet, or as we currently know them today, toilet business or sanitary wear business. And in that field, he made many uh, innovations, uh, one which was the modern flushing system of our toilets that we use today. It's credited to Thomas Maddock. Now, Thomas Maddock died about 1883, and his three sons, John, Henry, and Charles, took over both sides of the business, the sanitary wear and also the dinnerware. The sanitary wear they continued up until about 1929 when through different uh, merges uh, it was sold off to the American Standard Company, uh, which today is one of the leading manufacturers of uh, sanitary wear here in the United States. But in the dinnerware, we do not know uh, whether or not Thomas Maddock or any of his sons were Freemasons or belonged to any fraternal organization. But we do know around 1904 is one of the first times that a date appears on some of what I call fraternal wear. Fraternal wear is different than dinner wear. Uh, many lodges had, of course, dinner, Masonic dinner wear that they used for their dinners. But fraternal wear was more of an item that was sold as a souvenir or an anniversary piece, something that you don't eat your food from, something more that you would hang on your wall as a souvenir piece, a decorative piece. They began making Masonic plates, pitchers, mugs, vases, uh, three-handed loving cups, and a complete set, uh, which can, uh, consider, consist of maybe one or five uh, mugs and a pitcher. Now, when I consider that he's not well known by uh, 
Freemasons. As a past curator, I believe that Maddock was the premier decorator of fraternal wear here in the United States then or even now. Their attention to how the colors are used and how they are placed, the attention to the transfers, the detail of the transfers is remarkable. Unfortunately, because they're not well known, so their prices really fall way below what they should be. A Masonic plate like this, unfortunately, doesn't even sell on eBay for five bucks. And that's a shame because this is more of a 10 to $20 plate. Their vases and their pictures also well below the value of what they should be as well as their three-handed loving cups, below market value. But it is the sets that they produced, such as their hot chocolate set, their coffee set, or their hot cider set, that at auction will demand hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It is the way, again, how they decorated the pieces and also the use of their matting finishes and the coloring. On certain pieces, they would um, actually use, like on a mug, a brown, blue, yellow, um, greens, reds, and they would start off at a dark color on the bottom. As the color rose to the top, it became lighter. Also, the accenting of rims and bottoms of the cups or mugs or vases would be done in a gold leaf, a silver leaf, handles, gold leaf, a silver leaf. So they took attention to certain details of the items. Now, these items were sold more, as I said, commemorative pieces. Uh, lodges would commission uh, Maddox to make the items, and then the lodges or other bodies would sell them to the membership, basically for an anniversary, 50th or 100th. Uh, it was a very short-lived period, what I believe, for the fraternal wear. As I said, the earliest piece I've seen is 1904. The latest I've seen in dates, about 1916, uh, 1918, maybe. So we're only talking about 12 to 14 years of production of eternal wear. Um, their pieces are magnificent. I consider them uh, as pieces of art. It's hopefully that through this, the Masonic curators, um, YouTube sites that we can get the word out about Thomas Matter, that his pieces will be much more appreciative by those who collect, sell, or buy. Thank you.